What's going on guys, my name is Josh and in today's video we're going to be going over how to complete all these Season 2 Zombie Challenges in Black Ops Cold War. Hope you guys enjoy the video, there will be timestamps down in the description below, so if you're looking for a specific challenge, just click on that, it'll take you right to it. We will also be working on the Season 2 Challenges for Multiplayer, that will be coming out soon as well, so hope you guys enjoy the video, and if you do, leave a like, and let's get right into it. The first challenge for Season 2 Zombies is called Contraband. And to do this challenge, you have to purchase Wonder Weapon ammo 10 times. You can do this with the Ray Gun, the Ray K84, or the DIE. Super easy challenge. Do recommend going to a little bit higher round where you have a little bit more money to buy the ammo because the ammo is kind of expensive. That's all you have to do for this challenge. You'll knock this one out in no time. The second challenge for the season is called Strategic Operations. And to do this, you have to capture 25 Aether Reactors in Firebase Z. So this is just turning on the power like normal on Firebase Z. If you do 25 reactors, you can do three games. So this will take quite a few games to do. So just casually work on this throughout the season and you'll knock it out. Super easy challenge. The third challenge for this season is called overheating. And to do this, you have to get 250 kills with the death machine. Another pretty easy challenge. The death machine is really good. You can get the death machine either by going up to the work, uh, work table and buying it from there, or you can get it from the box as well. Death machine absolutely shreds. You want it to do more damage, just pop a ring of fire with it. It'll tear through zombies. You have to get 250 kills. Easy challenge. You'll knock it out in no time. The fourth challenge for the season is called Hide and Seek. And to do this one, you have to force 10 mimics to reveal themselves by shooting their hidden form. Now, this challenge can be a little bit confusing and it can be a little bit hard to do. So what this means is when you're running around the map, you'll notice that you'll sometimes you'll see items on the ground where you haven't been in that area at all. Those are mimics. You have to shoot that item and then the mimic will pop up. If you get too close to the item, the mimic will spawn in naturally, so that won't count. So the way I recommend doing this challenge is stay in one area of the map for a while, do like a camping strat on Firebase Z, and then after a round or two, walk out, walk very slowly, and pay attention for stuff to spawn in front of you, or stuff to be there that shouldn't be there. And once you see that, just stop, shoot it, and the mimic should spawn. This challenge can be a little hard, just because it takes a lot of mimics, and sometimes they just like to pop up right in front of you. So be patient with this challenge, just shoot the mimics, walk around the map slowly, and you should get it done. The fifth challenge for the season is called Disarmed, and to do this challenge, you have to destroy 10 Mangler Arm Cannons. So once you get to about round 15 or so on D-Machine, Manglers will start spawning in. And you'll notice the Manglers, they have their head, which you normally shoot at. They also have the Arm Cannon. For the challenge, you just want to shoot that Arm Cannon. You'll destroy the Arm Cannon, and you'll get the challenge completed. Also, just to keep in mind, you'll notice when you're killing the Arm Cannon, it will say on your screen for points, it'll say Destroyed Mangler Arm Cannon. So if you see that, that means you did it. If you don't see that, that means you didn't do it. The sixth challenge for the season is called Field of Fire. To do this challenge, you have to kill 25 enemies that are on fire from a Hellhounds explosion. Now, the Hellhounds don't start spawning in until round 25 on Firebase C. So this one does take a little bit longer to do. And what I'd recommend doing for this challenge is doing a camping strat. That way, all the zombies are coming down one hallway. I recommend doing it where you build the Red K. Really good spot to do it. They'll come through the one door. When you kill the Hellhound, it'll explode, set the zombies on fire. And then the zombies will run through it you'll kill them so doing a camping strat really works really well because you have a lot of zombies coming through a certain area where they'll catch on fire you can kill them really easy so it can be a little bit finicky so it may take a little bit of time but it's one of the early challenges so you should get it done by naturally playing the game the seventh challenge of the season is called bigger brother and to do this challenge you just need to get 1500 eliminations using the ray k84 again you have to do this on firebase c the ray k is a really good gun it absolutely shreds zombies up into the high rounds so super easy challenge. You can get the Ray K multitude ways. You can build it, or you can do the challenge podium to get it as well. If you need help to get the uh, get the Ray K, I have a video on how to get it using the challenge podium, and then I'll also link a video down below just how to build the Ray K as well. The eighth challenge of the season is called Fire Discipline, and to do this challenge, you have to rapidly kill three or more enemies with the artillery strike ten times. This challenge is pretty easy. I recommend doing this in the spawn area. Just buy the artillery strike as you run around, get a big horde of zombies, drop it right on the helicopter, and as the zombies just run around, it will kill them as you stay in that area. Just be very careful with this challenge because the artillery strike can and will kill you. So just watch out for that. Make sure you stand back far enough, but keep the zombies in range of the artillery strike, and you should knock this one out with really no problem. The ninth challenge of the season is called Who's Who, and to do this challenge, you have to revive yourself using Tombstone Soda 10 times. Another pretty easy challenge. The way I recommend doing this, if you have a friend, have the friend hold the zombie like on a later round by Tombstone, but there's one zombie left, and just keep reviving yourself over and over again. That's one way to knock it out really quickly. If you don't have a friend, you also want to do it. You can do it in solo. You can just wait, hold one zombie at the end of the round, grab a grenade, kill yourself, and then run to your body, revive yourself, and repeat to revive yourself. This is also really good paired with the later challenges. One challenge where you have to get killed while you're in your tombstone shadow form. So if you want to do it in the middle of the round, you can also do that as well. It's just a little bit harder and you risk going down. 
the 10th challenge of the season is called close and personal and to do the challenge you have to kill 10 manglers using a melee attack the challenge is pretty easy so you all you have to do is use the knife I recommend getting the knife pack a punch up to tier 3 also upgrading it through the legendary tiers getting it up from common uncommon rare all that stuff and then all you have to do is run up and knife the manglers the manglers do spawn in on round 15 so they do have a little bit of health but if you run ring of fire you can pop a ring of fire and you can literally one knife them if you have it also triple packed on the other rounds you can still one knife them as well pretty easy challenge so just knock them out knife them and you're done the 11th challenge of the season is called Army Reserves, and to do the challenge, you have to kill a mangler using a zombie infected with your brain rot. Now, there are two ways to do this. Well, the first way is way easier in my opinion, and this is gonna be upgrading your brain rot to tier four using the new refined crystals. Once your brain rot is on tier four, you can actually turn special enemies. So you can shoot the mangler with brain rot, he will turn, and then when he dies, that actually counts. Now, this may change, so if it does change, I recommend getting the zombies down. There's only the mangler and like two or three other zombies then shooting the mangler to get its health low and then turning one of the other zombies and letting the zombie kill the mangler but if you can and it still works i recommend like i said using the brain rot tier four and then turning the mangler itself when he explodes that will complete the challenge the 12th challenge of the season is called fill the heat to the challenge you have to kill 500 enemies using the molotov now for this challenge i recommend running ring of fire for sure and what you want to do is get a big horde of zombies then go in a corner pop ring of fire and then throw the molotov down right in front of you the zombies will run through it and it will kill them out the challenge does take a little while to do because it is 500 so it is a lot of zombies that you have to kill this way but just keep running ring of fire using molotovs throwing them down while you're in the ring of fire they die basically instantly and it's an easy way to cruise to this challenge the 13th challenge of the season is called now that's a knife and to do this challenge you have to get 500 kills using a primary melee weapon so this is just like running around with your knife or your katanas whatever you have to get the kills this one's really good paired with the previous challenge of killing manglers so just run the knife get 500 kills you can do this probably by around like 10 or 12 you'll have 500 kills or so so super easy challenge just run around knife make sure you upgrade the knife so it keeps one knifing throughout the rounds and you'll knock it out in no time the 14th challenge of the season is called Shadow Assassin, and to do this challenge, you have to kill 100 enemies while in your Tombstone Shadow form. This pairs really well with the Husu challenge earlier, where you have to revive yourself using Tombstone. To do this challenge, I recommend using a one for weapon, just because you can kill the zombies really easily. You can do this on any map using any gun, however. Just be very careful, because if you do go down in your Shadow form, you will completely die out. So you want to be very careful. If you do this in uh, multiplayer, you can work on this a little bit easier. You could run around in your Tombstone Shadow form, shoot the zombies, and then have your friend revive you just to be a little bit safer. I just recommend being very careful with the challenge, like I said, because if you do go down in your Shadow form, you will completely die out. The 15th challenge of the season is called Big Stop, and this is probably the hardest challenge of the season. To do this, you have to eliminate 10 orders on Firebase Z. Now, the problem with this challenge is orders don't start spawning in until round 30 on the defense modes, and they only spawn every 10 rounds. So this takes a while to do. So if you guys need help getting up to those higher rounds, please let me know. I will help you guys complete this challenge. I also recommend using the Stoner with the Task Force Barrel. This does the most damage to the order. It absolutely shreds them. Also, use it with Ring of Fire. Pop the Ring of Fire when he's in a special mode where you deal more damage also bring in the chopper gunner the chopper gunner is really useful for killing the zombies around you when you get overwhelmed and it will help you recharge your ring of fire to use again to help kill the order like i said this one is really hard it takes a while to get to at least round 30 to start killing them so if you guys need help please let me know and i will gladly help you guys the 16 challenge of the season is called Deep Pockets, and to do this challenge, you have to exfil with 30,000 Essence. I recommend doing this challenge on Firebase Z because the exfils are easier on Firebase Z. You can just pop a chopper gunner and kill all the zombies in one chopper gunner and be able to leave super easily. Uh, you can also do this challenge by around 15 to 20 if you're really saving points. But I also recommend just doing this challenge paired with the big stop challenge mentioned previously where you have to kill the orders because you don't get to start getting orders till round 30 anyway. So by the time you get to round 30, you're going to have over 30,000 points. And the orders come on the nice like 30 round, 40 round, 50 rounds. So if you know get to round 40 or 50, you'll definitely have enough money to exfil there with 30,000 essence. So just at that point, pop your exfil and pop the chopper gunner, kill all the zombies, you'll be able to exfil with this challenge. This one's pretty easy in my opinion, but if you guys need help, let me know. The 17th challenge of the season is called Fool Me Once. To do this challenge, you only have to kill 20 mimics on Firebase Z super easy challenge to do mimics start spawning in like crazy kind of once you get past round 15 you'll do this one easily just by playing the game naturally the mimic will spawn in shoot him in the head he'll die pretty quickly pop ring of fire if you really need to the ring of fire with the ray k will absolutely just one shot him so it's a pretty easy challenge you only have to kill 20 of them you should all this one out in no time
the 18th challenge of the season is called bird in the sky and to do the challenge you have to get 250 kills with the chopper gunner the challenge is really easy i recommend using the chopper gunner during one of the defense waves because a ton of zombies spawn in on the defense waves you can pop the chopper gunner it will help you fly through the defense wave first of all and you'll get a ton of kills that way you can also just use the chopper gunner naturally while playing it's one of the best uh, kill streaks you can use in zombies so just always have that on you pop it like i said you also use it like the last challenge use it during your exfil you can get a lot of kills that way as well the 19th challenge of the season is called Ice Burn. And to do this challenge, you have to kill 25 Hellhounds with Frost Blast. First of all, I recommend upgrading your Frost Blast up to tier 5 because it does more damage and you can get more charges that way. I also recommend doing the first step of the Easter Egg where you build the Truth Serum. So when you go to place that, it will spawn in a bunch of Hellhounds. So you can drop your Frost Blast there and kill quite a few of those and knock out a few of that for you those numbers there real quickly. I also recommend doing a camping strategy or you can just run around honestly. And when you see a hellhound running towards you, to shop your frost blast, it'll run through, it'll die, it'll knock this challenge out. And it'll take a little time, but it's honestly not that hard. So just be patient and you'll knock this challenge out. The 20th and final challenge of the season is called Field of Fire. To do the challenge, you have to kill 10 enemies with a single napalm strike five times. So for this challenge, I recommend just buying your napalm strike, training the zombies in the middle of the map where the helicopter is, and then just dropping the napalm on the helicopter. The napalm will take out all the zombies. Just be careful not to run into the napalm because it will do damage to you. The challenge is pretty easy. You only have to do this five times. So just keep running around, buying the napalm. The napalm is pretty cheap. It only costs 100 of the upgraded scrap. And you'll knock this challenge out in no time. And once you do that, you will have completed all of the Season 2 Zombies challenges. And you will get the Season 2 Zombies Master Calling Card, which looks really, really good. And there you go. That is how you complete all of these Season 2 challenges. If you guys enjoyed the video, please leave a like. Please leave a comment. If you made it this far, first of all, thank you. I really appreciate it. And I will be working on the Season 2 multiplayer challenges as well. Hopefully that video will be coming out sometime this week. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a like. Consider subscribing. And I will see you guys in the next video.